surgery session. She talked to us back in 2010. I risked everything. I risked my whole life for, for what? Now, to relieve her pain, thrilled to go from that F cup down to a D. She swears this was her last surgery, and back in recovery, it sure sounded like that. I feel really great, and I'm really relieved that at all about back problems, about um, the repercussions. I had my new doctor was like, you should never have been allowed by the doctor. plastic surgery after the fact because we don't know what a baby can do to a woman's body. I hope not. You know, I just had a reduction last year and that was kind of like pre-thinking. Oh, you guys, thank you. Good luck with everything, okay? We really thank appreciate you it. Marriage Boot Camp Reality Stars premieres this Friday on who are considering getting really large implants. To really think about it and really research it because they look great and they sound I'd like to hear from, from Heidi because I heard your voice last night. I was, I was sleeping. I want to know what was, what was going on. What was happening out there? I was just trying to come get you guys. They had the Senate Banking Committee, and your calls make a difference. You'll listen to this part because I'm in the tub. What happened to your back? I have a ruptured disc in my neck. The nerves are like pinching with the spine, and then I'm having severe back problems with my muscles Star of the Hills has had regrets from the very start when the breast enlargement was just one of 10 cosmetic procedures she underwent in one long surgery session. She talked to us I mean, that was one thing that made me really upset was that people were going to read this and think this about me mm -hmm. and, you know, think that I mean, when you hear other people doing it and even if it's someone, you know, young. It makes me a little sad because I see not only what I look like, but who I was. Heidi now saying no more cosmetic procedures. I'm just done with yeah. all of it. How do you like them apples, America? She's a quitter. Yeah, wait, what? So Heidi Montag, I uh, remember her from the hills. Uh, she yeah, not to do that. Now, what I would be scared of if something like that came out is how do I tell my parents that this rumor is out there? Well, I mean, the second that someone called me and told me about it, what does that feel? No, what does that feel like? Because that's pretty serious, you know, especially coming from somebody that's a friend. Yeah, well, I mean, not a friend anymore. Yeah. So. Is that vanity worth harming, potentially harming yourself? And for me, the answer is no. Today, Heidi is thrilled to go from that F cup down to a. No, oh, West Coast, sorry, we got them on our East Coast, the Hill, because the. East Coast MTV had the hills, oh, okay. so okay. they wrote us a check to stay out in the hills, 
and you know we just so to come to a compromise. And get his butt into shape. <laughs> we saw a video of, wasn't there a nursery? Yes, how was they, there a nursery involved? You slept in a nursery, is that yeah, right? Yeah, so I think they set up. push your buttons and set your triggers so it was really hard for us but I do think it was good. Did the idea of children because I would imagine since you guys are married since you've been together for a long time. That mentality and try to push your buttons and set your triggers so it was really hard for us but I do think it was good. Did the idea of children because I would imagine since you guys are married since you've been together for a long time. But once you get them that's it you've done the damage to your skin to your back to your muscles is that vanity worth I get what she wants I keep the new new like I'm supposed to show at that point it took you know serious boot camp training to come to a compromise and get his butt into shape <laughs> we saw a video of wasn't a thousand dollar procedure Heidi was relieved oh my gosh those are such big implants what a nightmare what advice you want it's not what I want it's what I don't want and Heidi wants to have kids like yesterday Heidi is baby not so crazy. What? I he even got into reality TV. You hear that easy? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what's I the worst Spencer. rumor? I love Spencer. <laughs> what's the worst rumor you heard about you? It's just one of 10 cosmetic procedures she underwent in one long surgery session. She talked to us back in 2010. I risked everything. I risked my whole life. Do what you like, like, come into my spot. I had known what I was signing up for. Heidi Pratt's 2009 surgery spree took her from girl next door to poster child for extreme cosmetic surgery. I'll be dead, first yeah. of all. Yeah. Went, I wouldn't be, I'll be not talking here. It's Sway in the morning, only on Shea 45. You know, especially coming from somebody that's a friend. Yeah, well, I mean, not a friend anymore. Yeah. So. But I'm, still once a friend. So yeah. It's still General, and I'm not getting, like, Botox or anything like that. So I'm kind of hoping that chapter of my life is over. Was it psychological? Like, or do you think it was um, something internal? Or I mean, it's sad, but that's what people do. Yeah. What do you have to say to young girls out there that love you? Because so many girls love you, Lauren, so, so, so much. And it's. I mean, it's sad, but that's what people do. Yeah. What do you have to say to young girls out there that love you? Because so many girls love you, Lauren, so, so, so much. And it's <laughs> the floor. That's thing. weird. Right. So is this a real, like, therapy session, what you guys went through? Were these, this was something where you guys really learned something and grew, or was it more of a TV thing? 